Good afternoon and welcome. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States and to the Republic Please be seated. It is my pleasure now to introduce the president of Concord University, Dr. Kendra Bogus. Thank you very much. Welcome to our commencement ceremony. Thank you, Dr. Mainland, for your service as Grand Marshal. Thank you, Dr. Ball and the Concord University Band, Dr. Hudson and the Concords for the beautiful performance and the, the entertainment between the two commencement ceremonies. We appreciate you. Thank you also to the members of the faculty, the staff, parents, friends, alumni, illustrious guests, and members of the graduating class of 2019. It's with great pleasure that I welcome you to our commencement ceremony today. There are several distinguished individuals who are very important to our Concord community here today, and I would like to take a moment to recognize them. Members of our Board of Governors are with us, so if they will please stand and be recognized. Mr. David Barnett, Leighton Romano, Dr. Sally Howard, and Dr. Brad Lane. Other distinguished guests with us are, and I think he was in the early ceremony, President Emeritus Jerry Beasley, Mr. and Mrs. Peter Romano, Carolyn Cox, Emeriti staff, Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Rowe, Rau, sorry, <laughs> Kay Monahan. Dr. and Mrs. Charles Bridgeford, Dr. Diane Grick. Thank you. We are very proud of our alumni and their many accomplishments. If you're an alumnus of Concord, will you please stand so we can recognize you? Yay! Welcome home. I would also like to recognize our dedicated and accomplished staff members. The Mountain Line staff serve in a number of capacities, from our admissions fac or folks to the housing staff and everywhere in between. During your years here on campus, these individuals have adopted some of you as their own. 
They've cheered you on in sports and in the classroom, and they've been there to gently guide you into the after college world. Would members of the Mountain Line staff please stand and receive our appreciation? Thank you. I would now like to recognize our talented faculty and note that about half of them are in this ceremony and about half of them were in the earlier ceremony. These are the scholars, the educators, the practitioners, and those who do research, who inspire our young people, who challenge them, who motivate them, and help our students to continue to their quest for success and service as they become citizens of the world. I would ask that all Concord University faculty, retired and emeriti, please stand to receive our appreciation. And I thank you for your dedication and devotion to our mission, our students, and to the state of West Virginia. I'd like to now take a moment um, to share a brief profile of our graduating class. Appearing in front of us today, the graduating class between this morning and this afternoon has 330 members. The youngest is 19. The oldest, 61. The number of undergraduates, 256. The number of master's degree candidates, 74. The number of students graduating with honors, 91. And the number of students receiving field honors, 13. Congratulate. Our graduates come from 16 states that I will read very quickly. California, Connecticut, District of Columbia, Florida, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Maryland, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. <clears throat> there are 10 countries represented today. Canada, China, Hong Kong, Ghana, Japan, Mexico, Nigeria, Spain, the United Kingdom, the United States, and Vietnam. There are 11 veterans graduating today. I'm going to ask you to please stand so that we can recognize you and thank you for your service. Thank you. Each student graduating today has a special story, but I would like to share a couple with you that are unusual. One of our valedictorians this morning, a young lady named Misty Richmond, received her diploma first today, um, and then she left early because she sp shares this special day with two other family members. Her son is graduating probably about now, for, or probably two hours ago, from Meadow Bridge High School. And her daughter-in-law, Lake in Richmond, graduates in this ceremony. She's going to try to get to all three ceremonies. It's not often that one family has three. You know, it's kind of like having kids that play baseball on three different fields. So she, I'm hoping she made it back today. And I want to congratulate the Richmond family. Sometimes students discover Concord toward the end of their educational journey, like Rob Reed. Mr. Reed spent time at a few other universities before he found a true home here at Concord. As a mountain lion, he was named the 2016 Mountain East Conference MVP at age 26. But there are so many stories here today that we could share about every one of you sitting in this, in this uh, assembly. And I'm reminded that every one of you has a story that's worth telling. For each of you that were not recognized individually because we want to get out of here sometime today, please remember your stories are just as important and I would encourage you to share them. 
Um, and as you take your first steps into your own future, we want you to know the Concord community will always be here to welcome you back to the Campus Beautiful. Thank you. I would like to take a few minutes moments to recognize members of the Mountain Lion family that we lost in recent months, including Mr. Ted Bogus. Ted was a devoted family man, talented architect, and committed member of the community. Because of his steadfast support of President Kendra Bogus, his wife of 40 years, Ted was a presence on Concord's campus, one that we all miss dearly. He loved being known as the first gentleman of Concord, in addition to his many other titles, including Dad, Pop, Grandpa, and Pawpaw. Ted leaves behind a wonderful legacy in the community, both through his beautiful architecture and his amazing family. Please join us in a moment of silence for our first gentleman, and other members of the Concord family that have passed on. Thank you. All of these special individuals will be greatly missed. Greetings on behalf of the Concord University Board of Governors will be brought to the graduates by Mr. David Barnett, Chair of the Board of Governors. Good afternoon, graduating students, your parents and spouses, Madam President, esteemed faculty. I appreciate this opportunity to bring you greetings on behalf of your university's Board of Governors. In putting together a very brief series of comments, my daughter told me, she said, Dad, you know, any speech at a graduation which is short is appreciated. And my wife, having looked at what I was done, said, you know, in your first quote, you better explain that or people think they can't go home. And I said, well, Honey, these are educated men and women. They'll understand what the quote is. Well, here is my graduation speech in 10 quotes. Number one, you can never go home again, Thomas Wolfe. Not that you can't go home again, but you can't live in the past. Number two, it does not matter if your dream came true if you spent your whole life sleeping, Jerry Zucker. Number three by Ben Bernanke, if your uniform is not dirty, you have not been in the game. Number four, Denzel Washington. You will never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. You cannot take it with you. Number five, don't be afraid of fear because it sharpens you, it challenges you, and it makes you a little stronger at Helms. And I will indicate to this group that in 1973, when I graduated, I had a little bit of fear about going out into the new world. It is something to be expected. Number six, just remember you cannot climb the ladder of success with your hands in your pockets, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Number seven, life has a very simple plot. First you are here and then you are not, Eric Idle of Monty Python. Number eight, that diploma you hold in your hands today is really just your learner's permit for the rest of the drive through life, Jimmy Ion. Number nine, Jimmy Buffett. Be Santa Claus when you can. And with a little bit of vanity, let me give you my thought for number 10. When dealing with people in the workplace and at any time, if they came to you and said, I need time, I've got a health problem, I have family issues, my child's sick, the response I think, hopefully that I made each time and you will make each time when you're in that position is that family comes first, because family does come first. 
Your Board of Governors is very proud of what you as students have done here at Concord. Use what Concord has given you well. Thank you for this opportunity. Greetings on behalf of the Concord University faculty. We brought to the graduates by Dr. William Williams, president of the faculty. Good afternoon, graduates and friends. It's my pleasure and an honor to represent the faculty at this occasion. As you embark on your future life, a new career and opportunities yet to be discovered, I encourage you to be open to new things, new people, new places, and new ideas. Be open to new things. My first year at Concord, Dr. Drogish and Dr. Uh, Grick and I were attending a state PDS conference in Flatwoods, West Virginia. One evening for dinner, Dr. Drogish said we were going to a really good restaurant. He proceeded to drive us away from Flatwoods and onto some back roads in the middle of nowhere. Being originally from Baltimore, I started to wonder if he was going to beat me, take my wallet, and leave me on some dirt road. Realistically, I knew that he wouldn't do that but I questioned the quality of a restaurant so far away from any population center. The food was great, in fact, exceptional, and I've been back since. Cafe Semino in Sutton, West Virginia was a great dining experience and a nice time with colleagues, and I got to keep my wallet. Be open to new people. In college and afterwards, you will meet a lot of new people who will challenge you. One year in college, I met a quiet freshman girl with a very Southern Georgia accent. Quickly, we disliked each other. I thought she was a snob who never talked to anyone, and she thought I was obnoxious. We avoided each other until we were nominated for Lord and Lady Oglethorpe, that's the name of our university, to represent the university's singers. After that, we started being a little nicer to each other, and as the school year came to a close. Over the summer, we wrote to each other, yes, letters, there was no email then. And once the fall semester started, we began dating. After two weeks of dating, I proposed. Tomorrow will be our 29th wedding anniversary. In those 29 years, we have put each other through college and graduate school. We've lived in Georgia, Alaska, and Virginia, and now we have twin five-year-olds. I'm glad we were open to new people, or I would not be here today. Be open to new places. One day while teaching in Georgia, I was preparing for a unit in my high school English class, and I was watching a video about Alaska. My wife had been teaching in Atlanta and lived in Georgia all her life. When she saw the video, I said, do you want to move there? She said, yes. A year and a half later, we moved to New Stuyahawk, Alaska. That's not where the cruise ships go. While in Alaska, my principal and the school janitor invited me hunting. I went on that outing and got a caribou or two. Now remember, I was from Baltimore. I had never been hunting before that. Uh, while in Alaska, I also got to learn to drive a snowmobile. During parent conferences in the spring, the teachers would go to the students' homes and meet with our students' parents. It was an eye-opening experience to see where and how students lived. Some kitchens would, kitchens would have blood splattered all over the walls. This was due to the butchering of caribou and moose. Back at school one day after such a conference, I overheard one of my students talking to other students about how she and her dad were watching me leave on a snowmobile and how I tipped over and fell off of it when I was making a U-turn on the street. She looked at me and said, that was embarrassing. The class erupted in laughter. And in spite of some setbacks, my experience in Alaska shaped me and gave me an opportunity to do many things I've never done before. I had a great teaching experience where I got to develop my own curriculum, learn about the UPIC culture, co-teach, dance with students, their parents, and their grandparents at school dances. I also got to drive a snowmobile, hunt fish, teach drama, see the Northern Lights, take a Makai, which is a uh, sauna, coach volleyball, make new friends, and experience many other things. Besides being open to new places, be open to new ideas. This sometimes may be the most difficult. When I was in high school, I hated English. I did not want to read or write. At least I did not want to read and write about the things my teachers wanted me to read and write about. I did like theater. In college, I got by in my English classes, but because I wanted to improve my writing and I thought I would like teaching high school, I decided to get an English degree. Now I help train teachers, and several of those are English and reading teachers, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. My high school self would not believe that, I, that I've not only taught English and I attend English and edu education conferences, I greatly enjoy them. I'm glad I was idea open to the idea of teaching English, or again, I would not be here today. So I encourage you, be open to new things, new people, new places, and new ideas. You never know where they might lead you, who you might meet, and what adventures you might have. 
So on behalf of the faculty, I say congratulations, good luck, and explore. Thank you. Greetings on behalf of the Concord University Alumni Association will be brought to the graduates by Mrs. Susan Tuck, President of the Alumni Association. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Concord University Alumni Association, congratulations on your graduation. It's with great pleasure that I welcome you as the newest members of the association. College is a time like no other. For some, it's a transition into adulthood, an opportunity to learn and grow and plan for the next phase of your life. For others, it's an opportunity to continue your education in order to advance your chosen career or to pursue new opportunities. Many of you have a parent, a sibling, a spouse, or a child who are also Concord graduates. I have three of the four. Many of us who grew up in West Virginia had teachers who were Concord graduates, embodying Concord's long tradition of training educators. You may have chosen education, or you may choose medicine or law, or any number of other professions, regardless of the path you follow. Particularly if you choose to live in this region of the country, you will meet many others who began their journeys here at Concord. Some of you here today are already familiar with the Alumni Association. The association awards academic scholarships, tuition waivers, does other projects around campus, and most recently, sponsored door prizes for the senior dinner. Your involvement in the association will allow us to continue these programs for future students. We hope that you will continue to be part of the Concord family in the years to come, that you'll come back to campus for homecoming, alumni weekend, to see a game or a concert or play, attend some of the events that Concord sponsors on campus and around the region, and become an active member of your alumni association. It has never been easier to stay connected to people and places than it is today. Through our Concord magazine, our websites and social media, the university and the alumni association will reach out to you to keep you informed of what's going on on and off campus with your professors and with your peers. Let us know where your education takes you so we can continue to celebrate your success. I will leave you with a quote by the theologian Leonard Sweet who said, the future is not something we enter, the future is something we create. On behalf of the Concord University Alumni Association, I wish, wish each of you good luck and happiness today and in the future that you create. Thank you. Greetings on behalf of the Concord student body will be brought to the graduates by Ms. Haley Fields, president of the Student Government Association. So as I sat down to write my speech, I realized that I didn't have a whole lot more to add than all of these wonderful people up here had to say. But one thing I did want to say from one student to another was to make sure that on this day, you give thanks. You thank all of those people who've been part of your life up to this point, and that's what I'd like to do in front of you all today. First, I'd like to thank my family. <laughs> They've literally been here since the beginning of my dream, and um, they have been very patient with me. They've been very loving and very supportive. Um, they have pretty much let me do whatever I want to pursue my dream, even if that means they don't see me for extended periods of time, because I work doubles and triples and whatnot. Um, so without family, I wouldn't be where I am today. And if I had a different family that wasn't as good, I don't know if I would have pursued my dream. So thank you to my family. <laughs> Next, I'd like to thank my best friends. Some of them are watching today, and some of them are in the crowd. Um, I didn't have a lot of friends in high school, and uh, I met a great group of friends here. Um, I have more people around me and a second family here that I wouldn't have been, I just can't even count them on one hand. They've loved me, um, they've been patient with me, they've comforted me, they've went on foods run with, food runs with me in the middle of the night, 
they've stayed up all night studying, um, they've celebrated my successes, and I don't know where I would be without them either. So thank you to my friends. I'd like to thank my sorority, Alpha Sigma Tau. Um, again, it was another immediate family that I had here, a support group where I could at any time walk into their houses, their dorms, call them up at any time of day, and I know I'd have somebody I could lean on, somebody I could cry to, somebody I could just lay everything on and they'd make me feel better, and also more people to get food in the middle of the night with. Specifically Taco Bell, we love Taco Bell. <laughs> Also, I don't know if any of them can make it today, but I'd like to thank my working family. Um, they've been with me for three years now, and I've learned everything I know from them about veterinary medicine, which is what I'm going into. They've been patient, they've given me opportunities, they've pushed me to strive and achieve, um, and I love every single day I spend with them because they make work awesome and they just make me love the field even more. And finally, I'd like to thank Concord University. Um, I actually, Concord was not my first choice school. I absolutely did not want to come here. My sister wanted to come here and I didn't want to have anything to do with that. Um, I wanted to be as far as away from her as possible. But I've, had, I've really grown into myself as a person and I hope that you guys have too. Um, the small class sizes, the faculty members who I jumped around whenever I got my acceptance letters and they shared in that joy with me, um, who had those personal conversations, who always brought me up whenever I was doubting myself. My mentors, both you know President Bogus and Andrew Solgit and all of that stuff who guided me on my way through my leadership positions and made sure I always considered different perspectives the staff and the calf that always remembered my order or made sure that I saw a friendly face first thing in the morning. Concord University has become a bigger part of my life than I thought it would. I've become very sentimental and attached to this place and it's one of the main reasons I'm going to graduate school so close by is so I can come back and visit everyone here. And I hope you all feel the same. I hope you also know that Concord University is your home now and forever, and you will always be welcome back here, because I know that I will be. Thank you. Greetings on behalf of the spring class of 2019. will be brought to the graduates by one of our valedictorians, Ms. Morgan Elmore. Good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations. When searching the internet, trying to figure out what exactly I'm supposed to say to all you people in a valedictorian speech, I found that they often begin with some thank yous, like Haley's. So let's start there. I would like to thank my family, my friends, my professors, and all of those who have gone on this journey with me. My entire family, specifically my parents, have provided me with the opportunities and encouragement I needed to make it here today with only a light side of emotional trauma. <laughs> My friends have shown me more support than I ever dreamed possible in the most trying times emotionally and otherwise that I've ever experienced. Without all these people, I could still be that kid in seventh grade too anxious to go to class, much less stand in front of a hundred so people and speak. Um, finally, there are so many professors who have influenced me along the way, and I'd specifically like to thank Dr. Falco, Dr. Luff, and Dr. Dave and Kim Chambers for caring about me both academically and personally. Each of you have had a profound impact on my life, and again, thank you. Okay, moving on from that sappy stuff into some other sappy stuff. Um, looking around at all of you and back on my time here at Concord, it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of you have no idea who I am or vice versa. <laughs> However, though our paths thus far, I'm sure, have been vastly different as they continue to be in the future, we're all here today celebrating the same achievements. All of us have gone through struggles and challenges 
to get here, where we are today, where everything pays off if just for a couple of hours. Through reflection, I've learned that these challenges shape us as individuals and make that payoff so much more rewarding. Whether we lost friends, lost relationships, lost sleep, or lost motivation, we are all here today and that is something worth celebrating. If there's any advice or parting words I could leave you all with, it would be to never lose faith in yourself. Do not discount your achievements, yourself, or anything you've overcome to make it here. And within reason, don't worry about what others think of you and value the opinions of those you value, not the other way around. I am incredibly thankful to share this moment with all of you today, and I can't wait to see what all of our futures have in store. Thank you. Graduates, it's important that we recognize your efforts here today. You've done most of the studying, the hard work in order to earn these degrees, but behind you was the very su support and care of a lot of, your, of special people. Therefore, before we go any further, I would like you, the graduates, to have an opportunity to acknowledge some of these special people who made your educational journey possible. So I would like all the mothers, fathers, and grandparents of today's graduates to please stand so we can recognize you. And tomorrow is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Now we invite the husbands, the wives, the children, and grandchildren of t today's graduates to please stand as well and be recognized. And finally, because we want to leave no one out, we want the aunts, the uncles, the cousins, the sisters, the brothers, the extended family, mentors, friends, and neighbors of the graduates to please stand and be recognized. It truly takes a village. Today, you are each an important part of the Concord University family. As you move ahead, remember the fun, the joy, the hard work, the activities, the friendships, the faculty who challenged you, staff members and friends who sustained you throughout your challenging times. Remember Concord, and please know that we are here to continue to support you. We hope you're going to complete this day with your very own special celebration. Enjoy the moment, take a short break, and then it's up to you to begin to push ahead again, to study, to reflect, to remain motivated, to work to build your futures. You can be assured you're prepared now to succeed. This is just the launch pad, the first step in your journey to achieve more accomplishments than you can ever imagine you will from here today. Know that whatever comes, you are ready. Don't ever give up your dreams. Be passionate about something. Develop goals that you care about. Never stop learning things. Never let anyone convince you the challenges you face are beyond your abilities. Challenges are just opportunities waiting for creative solutions. It's wise to remember that hard work and persistence are two of the most important keys to success. Those alone will take you far. Don't ever become convinced that success is perfection or life without error. One of the best teachers most of us have learned that you can have is experience. And with experience comes stumbling, mistakes, redos, scars, complete missteps. The only thing that brands you a failure is quitting. Set your mind to a goal to a dream, to a mission, and love the mission. Believe in what you're doing and then adjust if necessary. Be flexible. More than anything, don't give up. It's possible to find nuances in your dreams, to tailor the ending, to revise the early hypothesis. What is not acceptable is conceding defeat. And also remember to pay it forward. 
Take with you the gifts of service, of kindness, of patience, of willingness to help others, and the encouragement each of you receive from one another, from your friends and family, from the faculty and staff while you're here at Concord, and show that to others throughout your lifetime. Pass along some of the lessons in humility and generosity that you've experienced from those people around you. Take with you the heart of the Campus Beautiful and share it with others. Thank you so much for being here. We're looking forward to finding out what your next, next chapter is. Congratulations and thank you. Mr. Barnett will now announce the awarding of the honorary degree. It is my honor on behalf of the Board of Governors and the faculty of Concord University, I'm pleased to announce Ms. Linda Poff will be awarded the degree of Doctor of Humanities Honoris Causa. There are many things that we can say about our honorary doctorate recipient, but I think that one of our faculty members and his wife have written a letter that I want to share with you that says a great deal of what we would say if we were writing something. This is from Dr. Joe Manzo and his wife Sharon. Linda, Sharon and I regret not being able to attend the ceremony today that honors you. Personal issues are at fault. Still, I have things to say. No one deserves, in my opinion, recognition for her contributions to Concord University more than you. Over the last 28 years, the West Virginia Geographic Alliance brought over $1,500,000 to Concord University, and you brought the Geographic Alliance to West Virginia, <clears throat> where it eventually ended up on our doorstep. When you asked the st state superintendent of schools why we didn't have a geographic alliance in West Virginia, the die was cast. Over the years, you helped the alliance meet every promise, every goal, and deadline that kept the money flowing for teachers and their students. With your support, the money was put to extraordinarily good use for teachers who traveled, needed supplies, attended workshops, and took classes. Your name resonates with West Virginia educators. For many teachers across the state, you made Concord University the center of their classroom universe. We love you, Linda. Joe and Sharon Manso. The citation for Mrs. Poff will be read by Dr. Viscusi. Linda Poff, your outstanding career achievements, your boundless enthusiasm for teaching, and your devotion to Concord University are especially noteworthy. After graduating from Bluefield High School in 1972, you earned a bachelor's degree in elementary education, grades one through nine, from Concord in 1976. That fall, you embarked on a career in teaching that spanned more than four decades. Your first stop on the journey was at Moncombe Elementary, where you taught fourth grade. You later transferred to Straley Elementary, another Mercer County school, where you shared your gift of teaching with fifth and sixth graders. During this time, you furthered your own education by receiving a master's degree in curriculum and instruction from Salem University and returned to Concord to earn a master's degree in education with a specialization in geography education. Although you retired from full-time work in the public school classroom in 2011, you continued to serve as a substitute teacher. Turning to higher education, you taught as an adjunct instructor at Concord from 2003 until 2013. Your dynamic teaching style and your dedication to promoting geographic literacy are hallmarks of your successful career. Through endeavors with the West Virginia Geographic Alliance and the National Geographic Society, you coordinated the West Virginia Geographic B at Concord for eight years and brought several of the society's giant traveling maps of continents to campus for interactive learning fun. 
You trained at National Geographic Society conferences across the country, and you worked on staff during summer geography institutes for West Virginia teachers held at Concord. An admired and respected educator, you are a recipient of the prestigious Milken Foundation National Educator Award, as well as the National Council for Geographic Education Distinguished Teaching Award. In 1986, you were named the Mercer County Teacher of the Year, and in 1990, the regional winner of the Rand McNally NCGE Excellence in Teaching Geography Award. The Concord University Alumni Association honored you with the Outstanding Alumnus Award in 2015 and the Golden Alumnus Award in 2017 for your exceptional commitment to teaching and to advancing geographic knowledge and for your dedicated service to your alma mater and the community, Concord University confers upon you, Linda Poff, the degree of Doctor of Humanities, honoris causa. Wow. I told Dr. Boggins, no wonder I feel a little tired if I've really done all those things through the years. I don't have a prepared speech. I'm going to do it from my heart. I figured if I'm getting an honorary doctorate degree, I should be able to give a speech without reading it off paper. I thank Concord College, Dr. Boggus, your support. Uh, we brought in, yes, thousands of students from Mercer County, Summers County, Monroe County to come when we had the gigantic maps of the different continents because teachers and principals approved for those students to come. And all I had to do was ask Concord, the education department, first of all, Dr. Bogus approved it and supported us. And I asked the education department, they said, Linda, what do you need? We'll have the students at the stations. Uh, we put up stations with the maps so the kids could go from station to station. We threw in a little map, uh, I mean, excuse me, a little math with the mapping as well as science and reading. And uh, the college students from Concord were just top notch. They supported every time we came uh, with a gigantic map. And yes, Dr. Manzo was the man uh, that was my support in anything that I wanted to try. He was willing to back me. So we even took the map to Shepherd University, excuse me, Shepherd University. And uh, we had students up there too that came and did the mapping with us. The kids loved it because you couldn't use pencils on it. You couldn't write. You only could get on it and do with your feet. So we mapped with our feet. And then we did the geography be here for nearly a decade or more. And my readers, timers, scorekeepers were, were the majority of the Concord faculty. So you see, it's not me. I am not a solo act. I have been supported by the faculty, the staff, from the food service to uh, Mark in security, putting cones in the parking lot and reserving uh, the spaces for all of my helpers. And so I'm just pleased today to thank Concord for uh, this distinguished honor. And I knew it'd be all right because I retired in 2011. And since then, yes, I've been back out into the school system and subbing and every day, every day is a new experience. I um, just had a student not long ago uh, that I taught years ago and he has his own little boy now. He saw me in the parking lot at Grant's and a good friend of mine, I just gotten word that she was not doing very well and I didn't even have a Kleenex. I'd just gotten a 
an email. And I didn't have even a Kleenex to wipe the tears from my eyes. And so I heard this on my window. He said, Miss Poff, is that you? And I said, yes. And he said, I thought it was you. He said, you got a little age on you. <laughs> but he said, I don't mean it bad. He said, put your window down. He said, I want to hand my baby through to you. So I did. And he handed me the baby through the window. <laughs> and I said, oh, Isaac, I'm proud of you. He said, I'm going to get my GED, Miss Poff. He said, you'll be proud of me. I said, I am proud of you, Isaac. And for all of those years of teaching, for the graduates that are here today, the support of my friends, my family, the people I have worked with have just been the very best. And my motto was, never, you will never accomplish anything in life unless you have enthusiasm and faith, my faith in God pulled me through. And as I ended each long term, I would always say, as I'll end this, it is well with my soul. Thank you very much. We would now like to recognize our students graduating with institutional and field honors. Will those students please stand and be recognized? At this time, the candidates for degrees in course will be presented to the president by provost and vice president for academic affairs, Dr. Peter Viscusi. President Bogus, pending the submission of semester grades, the ladies and gentlemen standing before you have fulfilled all the requirements for either the bachelor's degree or the master's degree as prescribed by the Concord University Board of Governors and the faculty of Concord University. I am pleased to present these candidates to you for recognition and the granting of degrees. The class of 2019 will please stand. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors and the laws of West Virginia, and on behalf of the faculty of Concord University, I hereby confer upon each of you the appropriate degree you have earned in accordance with the testimonials you are about to receive, and I declare you worthy of all the rights, privileges, immunities, honors, and signal obligations here and elsewhere belonging to this degree. The class of 2019 may please be seated. We would like to ask that the audience refrain from applause until all the diplomas have been awarded. This will help us. The graduates will now come forward to receive their diplomas in the order indicated in your commencement program. Although official diplomas will be available or mailed to graduates in the near future, all participants will receive appropriate documents today. Dr. Peter Viscusi will announce each of the graduates. At this time, master's candidates from the College of Natural Sciences, Mathematics, and Health, which include the Master of Arts in Health Promotion, will come forward to receive their diplomas. Dr. Bean, interim assistant provost, will assist Dr. Liptak, associate provost, with the hooding. Christian Richard Fossler, Master of Arts in Health Promotion. <laughs> Anne Marie Galinsky, Master of Arts in Health Promotion.
Raven Marie Walker, Master of Arts in Health Promotion. Arlene Joanna Zayazan, Master of Arts in Health Promotion. At this time, undergraduate candidates from the College of Natural Sciences, Mathematics, and Health, which includes Department of Biology, the Department of Physical Sciences, the Department of Mathematics and Computer Science, and the Department of Health, Physical Education, and Athletic Training, will come forward to receive their diplomas. Hope Elizabeth Blankenship, Bachelor of Arts, cum laude, Major Studio Art. First of all, let me re-correct re that. <laughs> We're doing the undergraduate candidates from the College of Fine Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, and not the other college. We'll get to that one. Excuse me. First mistake since 1971. <laughs> Emily Ann Brundage, Bachelor of Arts, summa cum laude, major advertising, graphic design, major studio art. Kaylee Jo Goddard, Bachelor of Arts, Major Studio Art. Calvin Aw Rosell Jones, Bachelor of Arts, Major Advertising, Graphic Design, and Studio Art. Melissa Page Losada, Bachelor of Arts, Field Honors, Studio Art, Major Studio Art. April Dawn Sears, Bachelor of Arts, Major Studio Art. Yeah. Caitlin Page West, Bachelor of Arts, Major Studio Art. Yeah. Jacob Nathaniel Ashcroft. Bachelor of Arts, cum laude, major history and history of philosophy. Hannah Marie Bolin, Bachelor of Arts, major English literature emphasis. <laughs> Laura Lynn Buchanan, Bachelor of Arts, major English, creative writing emphasis and English, professional writing emphasis. Jason Ray Deskins, Bachelor of Arts, Field of Honors, English, Professional Writing, Major, English, Literature Emphasis, and English, Professional Writing Emphasis. <laughs> Abigail Ray Edwards, Bachelor of Arts, Cum Laude, Major, English, Literature Emphasis, and History of Philosophy. <laughs> Margaret Ann Ferguson, Bachelor of Arts, Cum Laude, Major, History of Philosophy. Bachelor of Science in Education, Teaching Field, General Science, Five Through Adult. Robin Leslie Hensley, Bachelor of Arts, Cum Laude, Major English, Literature Emphasis. Galen Marie Jackson, Bachelor of Arts, Magna Cum Laude, Major English, Journalism Emphasis. Cassandra K. Lemmert, Bachelor of Arts, Major History. Dylan Christian Longcook, Bachelor of Arts, Major History. Marie Louise Meadows, Bachelor of Arts, Cum Laude, Major History and History of Philosophy. David Elliott Pritt, Bachelor of Arts, Cum Laude, Major History. Hannah Jean Sekman, Bachelor of Arts, Field Honors, English, Creative Writing Emphasis. Major English, Creative Writing Emphasis. Aramis Dawn Smith, Bachelor of Arts, Cum Laude. Major English, Literature Emphasis. Liana Irene Castro, Bachelor of Science, Major Psychology. John Michael Klein, Bachelor of Science, 
Field Honors Geography, Major Geography. Nicholas Adam Dorsey, Bachelor of Science, Major Psychology. Morgan Brooke Elmore, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude, Major Psychology. Hannah S. Fields, Bachelor of Science, Major Psychology. Jack Richard George Garwood, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude, Major Political Science. John Wesley Gill, Bachelor of Science, Major Political Science, Bachelor of Arts, Major History of Philosophy. Aaron Michael Maddox, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude, Major Psychology. Trevor Lee Mullins, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude, Major Political Science. Dalton Allen Bradford, Bachelor of Science, Major Geography. Jonathan David Watkins, Bachelor of Science, Major Geography. Kyra Bray Wicklin, Bachelor of Science, Major Psychology. Chelsea Nicole Wood, Bachelor of Science, Major Psychology. At this time, undergraduate candidates from the College of Natural Sciences, Mathematics, and Health, which includes the Department of Biology, the Department of Physical Sciences, the Department of Mathematics and Computer Science, and the Department of Health, Physical Education, and Athletic Training, will come forward to receive their diplomas. Tyler Everett Blake, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude, Major Biology, Pre-Professional. Bachelor of Arts, Magna Cum Laude, Major of History of Philosophy. Lauren Audrey Blunt, Blunt, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Major Biology Pre-Professional. Hannah Elizabeth Bowman, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude, Major Biology Pre-Physical Therapy. Christian Taylor Brackenridge, Bachelor of Science, Major Biology Pre-Physical Therapy. Tyler Leanne Brewster, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude, Major Biology, Pre-Professional. Emily Ann Culver, Bachelor of Science, cum, Summa Cum Laude, Major Biology, Pre-Professional. Haley S. Fields, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude, Major Biology, Pre-Professional. Allison Leanne Garrett, Bachelor of Science, Major Biology, Pre-Professional. William Zachary Hopkins, Bachelor of Science, Major Biology, Pre-Physical Therapy. Nicole Lynn Matthews, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude, Major Biology, Pre-Professional. Ashley Lynn McNichol McNicholas, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude, Major Biology, Pre-Professional. Leighton Elizabeth Romano, Bachelor of Science, Magna Cum Laude, Major Biology, Pre-Professional. Carly Page Thompson, Bachelor of Science, Major Biology, Pre-Professional. Isaac Noah Van Blaricum, Bachelor of Science, Major Biology, Pre-Professional. Aaron Taylor Ward, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude, Major Biology, Pre-Professional. Carrie Lynn Waters, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude, Major Biology, Pre-Professional. Sydney Faith Wall, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude, Biology, Pre-Professional. Jody A. Weichel, Bachelor of Science, Major Biology, Pre-Professional. Sarah Page Welling, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude, Major Biology, Pre-Professional. Lauren Nicole Workman, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude, Major Biology, Pre-Physician's -phys Assistant, Physical Therapy. Dakota Allen Bailey, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude, Major Chemistry, Pre-Professional. Miranda Teresia Basconi, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Geosciences, Summa Cum Laude. Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude, Major Psychology. Annalisa Erica Flieger, 
Bachelor of Science in Environmental Geosciences. James Carl Fry, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Geosciences. Jonathan Hall Hardman, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Geosciences. Jeffrey Coleman Hollifield, Bachelor of Science Cum Laude, Major Chemistry Pre-Professional. Carl Eugene Lilly Jr., Bachelor of Science in Ge Environmental Geosciences. Amy Leanne Lusk, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude, Major Chemistry Pharmacy. Michael Robert Runke, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Geosciences. Kayla Marie Williamson, Bachelor of Science, Major Chemistry, Pre-Professional. Chelsea Renee Amos, Bachelor of Science, Major Mathematics. Michaela Elizabeth Bellinger, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude, Major Computer Science, Mathematics. Trenton Scott Calloway, Bachelor of Science in Computer Information Systems. Alexander Brett Coburn, Bachelor of Science, Major Computer Science, Mathematics. Lauren Nicole Cox, Bachelor of Science in Computer Information Systems, Field Honors, Computer Information Systems. William Alexander Harvey, Bachelor of Science, Major Computer Science, Mathematics. Emily Grace Hendricks, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude, Major Mathematics. Amanda Quinn, Bachelor of Science in Computer Information Systems. Alfonso Jimenez Contreras, Bachelor of Science in Computer Information Systems. Kylie Ray Kent, Bachelor of Science in Computer Information Systems. Isaac Andrew Mick, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude, Major, Computer Science, Mathematics. Matthew Derek Strand, Bachelor of Science in Computer Information Systems, Cum Laude. <laughs> Xander Elijah Bailey, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training. Elisa. Elisa Marie Boggs, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, Magna Cum Laude. Caitlin Nicole Gibbs, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Nyla Sabra Halems, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training. Ella Ann Nancy Lawrence, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, Cum Laude. Taylor Marie Life, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, Field of Honors Athletic Training. David Allen Meck, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training. Killian Andrew Tews, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, Field Honors, Athletic Training. Noah William Tucker, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, Cum Laude. James Francis Wood, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, Cum Laude. Alec Mason Yost, Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training. At this time, undergraduate candidates from the Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies program will come forward to receive their diplomas. Jacob A. Pauley, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies. At this time, undergraduate candidates from the Regents Bachelor of Arts program will come forward to receive their diplomas. Savannah Renee Blankenship, Regents Bachelor of Arts. Melissa Ann Blevins, Regents Bachelor of Arts. Kimberly Diane Breeding, Regents Bachelor of Arts. Lindsay Leanne Burdett, Regents Bachelor of Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Ashley Nicole Busby, Regents Bachelor of Arts, Cum Laude. David Virgil Clemens, Regents Bachelor of Arts. Jason Edward Clyburn, Regents Bachelor of Arts. 
Emma Rose Cole, Regents Bachelor of Arts. Tiffany Ann Colon, Regents Bachelor of Arts. Taylor K. Ham, Regents Bachelor of Arts. Emily Elizabeth Henry, Regents Bachelor of Arts. Sylvester Conquest Marshall, Regents Bachelor of Arts. Joyce Renee Martin, Regents Bachelor of Arts. Billy Lee Meter Shack, Regents Bachelor of Arts. Robert Lynn Reed, Regents Bachelor of Arts. Brittany Ray Ritchie, Regents Bachelor of Arts. Heaven Lee Sims, Regents Bachelor of Arts. Barry Jack Spurgeon, Regents Bachelor of Arts, magna cum laude. Hannah Marie Stone, Regents Bachelor of Arts. Cameron Aaron Tony, Regents Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Catherine Joanne Ward, Regents Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Owen Chandler Wood, Regents Bachelor of Arts. Please stand and join us in singing the Concord University alma mater. You'll find the words to it located in the back of your commencement program. We will be led by Dr. Kelly Hudson and the Concord University Concords. It is customary for the graduates to now move their tassels from right to left to signify they are college graduates. Congratulations. Please join us for our reception in the small gymnasium just next door here. Graduates and faculty will remain standing for the recessional. The audience may be seated. <laughs> 